Hey guys, uh, this is Jake again, and I was just bored and lonely, so I'm gonna do a video so I can have some kind of connection with people. And so let's start with my garden. It's been a while since I've done a video, and a lot has changed. These are sweet potato leaves and bitter melon. And if you've ever had a sweet potato leaf, you'll know that they are the best. They are very mild and you can eat the stem. I chop them up with my ramen noodles and they are probably the best leafy green I've ever eaten. Bitter melon uh, is a little harsh. A little bitter. I go sparingly on it. Uh, it's supposed to lower your blood sugar so I heard it's good for diabetes. It's kind of odd too because guava leaf tea is actually good for your blood sugar too and both those grow abundantly here in Hawaii. This is the new cottage. This is the second half. That's the first half. It's probably 90% done. Just has screen windows. That's my new water catchment tank. Uh, cost me 150 bucks off Amazon. It was slightly used or damaged. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's uh, looking good so far. Little walk around porch and some custom made stairs made out of two by no four by sixes and cleats and two by sixes. Works awesome. <clears throat> All right, the real reason why I want to do this video is to show you my water filtration system. Uh, that's it. This is a table or countertop I just made, and I think it turned out really great. I just built it out of necessity alone and wasn't really thinking about looks. Uh, and it turned out beautiful and it's kind of cluttery. I know um, this is just spur of the moment So I'm just shooting from the hip uh, That leg is Ohia and it has an oak trim and a maple top with epoxy Stainless steel sink and a Moen faucet. I want to show you what an Ohia looks like It's a great wood they use it for smoking here smoking wild boar that scraggly tree is it and it's really hard um i think it scores a 2300 on the jonka test jonka wood uh hardness scale <clears throat> and the water filtration system is super cool i've got a sure flow i believe it's a 1081 and it's the standard workhorse of the water pumps uh as a pressure switch and it pumps about three gallons per minute cost me about a hundred bucks off amazon uh, tw uh yeah 12 volt on that one no sorry 24 volt i run a 24 volt system because it uh allows you to use smaller wire which saves you money and it also allows you to have a smaller charge controller or a better one whatever you want to do so these are the three inline filters and i searched for hours to find the best clear ones i could and finally found them i think these are called it's either meps m-e-p-s or mets m-e-t-t-s uh and they're about 20 bucks a pop i don't think i got these am on amazon i think i got them from another supplier uh but expect to pay around 20 bucks pop for them and only get these ones if you get clear ones uh, or something better because all the other ones you see leak. You hear horror stories of people coming home to flooded basements and stuff. And these have a really good design and from all the reviews, uh, they're pretty much leak proof. About 99% anyway, I don't know. Okay, um, so I have a 30 micron on the first a i think it's just polyethylene uh and a string wound 
10 micron in the middle and a carbon half micron at the end. Then it goes into a UV filter. Uh, I'm using CPVC for cold water. And the UV light is really cool and beware, I have had uh, burns from it before. I stood in front of it for about a half hour with shades on and it sunburned my eyes. I had really red eyes for about two, two and a half days and felt like sand was in my eyes. So be careful when you work with these suckers. Uh, this one I believe is 12 watts and it pumps about, or it filters six gallons per minute and that's about twice what I need. This is the tankless hot water heater my friend George gave me. Uh, bless his heart and it uh, operates at about two gallons a minute and so I hope when I mix it with cold water I'll have about three gallons a minute of, of Faraday hot water. Just runs off propane and you can get this for about 90 bucks. It's one of the cheaper ones. And I did all the plumbing myself. Uh, hot and cold. Coming up, mowing faucet. Uh, paid about 90 bucks for it and I was happy to get that because I heard they were the best. Stainless steel sink that I was gifted. Uh, is a little beat up, but it worked okay. I just pounded it out a little bit, flattened it out. Um, an epoxy top, which I screwed up on the countertop. I didn't follow the directions 100%, just because that's me. And I experimented a little bit, and the epoxy on one batch ended up hardening ultra fast. And so I have little grooves on some of it. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. Uh, but I'm going to keep going forward. So if you look close you can see little bumps. And on this part right here, this is what I'm going to use for my cutting board. And so I just use like a half a gallon on this 3 by 3 section or 3 by 2 section alone. It's about a half inch thick and I'm just going to go ahead and cut on it. Because uh, I'm a simple man. And I don't like maintenance, I don't like cleaning uh, dishes or cutting boards. And let's see here, the cool thing about this is the water, the gray water, goes out to my toilet. Um, and so it automatically fills. I'll show you that. There's a view of my yard, my front yard. I've got fruit trees over there. Got flowers and herbs and lemongrass and a cool guava tree that it was bent over, so I kept it. Um, any of you girls out there want to get married, we'll probably be walking under that on our wedding day. Ha ha ha. It's my water catchment. This is where the gray water comes in. Works awesome. And I even use, I flush coffee grinds down there and a little bit of food particles. And I haven't had a problem with it yet. Um, so, there you go. You don't got to be too careful when putting gray water down your toilet, it looks like. I was filling it with the hose before that. I just held up the hose with a little nail. Worked great. Uh, that's my new water catchment and a friend of mine told me that I should go to Walmart and get a pool. I'm like, that's a great idea because I didn't have three grand to spend on a corrugated metal one or a plastic one. And so I started checking it out on Amazon and got that sucker for about 150 bucks. It's an Intex pool, uh, 1700 gallons and honestly it's about a tenth of the price. Wait, no, not a tenth. Maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, about a tenth. Probably, no, a twentieth. I just used um, black weed mat on the bottom. It adds up to about, be about four layers. Two layers deep and then each one overlaps about 50%. 
So I got about four layers of plastic under there and cinder underneath that. And the pool cover, if you get one of these and order a pool cover, try and get one that doesn't have holes in it because mine has holes in it and I didn't know that. The picture didn't show it. So I had to glue a screen covering the hole. So on the underside of this, it has a big screen covering it and on each one of these little holes. And the pool cover costs about 15 bucks on Amazon. So I'm into this whole thing about 200 bucks. That was my first water catchment. And it's a 100 gallon tank and it was enough to flush my toilet and a few other things. Not much. Um, it does rain here a lot in Hawaii. And so you can, you know, depending on what season you're in, you can get away with it. That's my first flush coming off one side of my roof and it's got a screw in bottom that I leave half undone so it just drains as it rains and the tank is acting as the second first flush and so everything's going into that and hopefully everything will settle at the bottom and so I have cleaner water coming into the tank it's coming off my roof just like that and you want a corrugated metal roof guys because it is stronger because there's more material used because there's more bends in it than the other ribbed kind so when you're buying a roof you want the if you want to get the strongest one get the corrugated <clears throat> this is my shower 50 bucks at Home Depot. Has hot and cold going into it. And then that's the water coming in from the other side. Piping isn't perfect because I was alone when I was doing it and it was heavy and awkward. But I got her done. And even if your pipe goes up and down a little bit, it's okay because theoretically, according to the hydraulics laws, if your inlet is higher than your outlet, it all should drain eventually <laughs> you'll have little pools in there but it's not going to be that big of a deal and honestly it's really that actually actually kind of acts as a another little filter because all your mud and stuff is going to uh settle on your low spots and that's about it uh hope you learned something email me with or email me text me whatever you want to call it uh, message me with any questions and I'm just doing this because I don't want people learning the hard way like I did so let me know if you need any help and that's it take it easy from Hawaii give you a view of what I wake up to these are all junk trees they're good for biomass oh he is Albizia um, live in a very pretty neck of the woods, and I hope you're jealous. Just kidding. So, this goes out to all you guys wanting to try and escape the system. Sorry, my goodbye is long. Uh, do it, live off grid. You can, it's fun, especially if you have someone doing it with you. I did 90% of this alone. Um, okay, 75, and it was hard, but man, if I had a person with me, it would be great. It would have been the awesomest experience of my life. Um, I suggest you do it if you're looking to do it. And like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Take care. Oh yeah, I'm going to do a little shower curtain hanging from the pipe probably. So the shower is going to be enclosed. And that's about it. There's where we came from. Screen needs to be cleaned a little bit. Yeah, it's nasty. Alright, a little off from Hawaii. Peace out. And out.